So friends, so uh, let's try to solve one very interesting question. And uh, this is a quantum mechanics question and this came in the net CRF June 25. This question is very, very conceptual, not calculation based question. So what is this? So a spin half system is prepared in the initial state phi and that is root 3 by 2 in up state and root 3 by 2 in down state where up and down state are eigen state of SZ. So what is this? You can for the clarity, you can just write this phi is nothing but root 3 by 2 phi Z plus and 1 by 2 phi Z minus. And the eigen value correspond to 5 Z is Z plus is H cut by 2 and minus H cut by 2. So this is given. A measurement and now look at look at this question this line very carefully the measurement of SZ followed by measurement of SX this is very important the measurement of SZ is followed by measurement of SX on the system what is the probability that measurement of SX yields to H cut by 2 plus H cut by 2 students कई बच्चों बच्चे इसको last year के जो question है उसको लेकर के confuse है this is not the same question what you have to do you have to first measure SZ and after then you have to measure SX so this is the thing so अगर आप इसको SZ पर measure करते हो then you have two options, either you will get h cut by 2 or you will get minus h cut by 2. If you are getting h cut by 2, then this phi according to postulates 4 is proportional to phi z plus. So, this phi is proportional to phi z plus or agar aap isse measure karte ho, then this phi is proportional to phi z minus. So, now and after then you have to measure your sx. So, if you are going to measure either on phi z plus or phi z minus, then phi z plus can be written as 1 by root 2 phi x plus plus 1 by root 2 phi x minus and similarly this your you can just put this phi z minus this phi z minus is nothing but 1 by root 2 phi x minus minus 1 by root 2 phi x minus. Ab, aap agar either phi z plus ko bhi measure karo ya phi z minus ko bhi measure karo phi x plus ki honi ki probability 50% hogi that is half. So, this is very interesting. So, your answer will be half, which is CSIR. Ne diya hua hai. So, I am going to tell you what is First, you are measuring SZ. So, once you will measure SZ, either you will get H cut by 2 or minus H cut by 2. If you are going to measure H cut by 2, then this phi is proportional to phi Z plus. If you are going to measure minus H cut by 2, then this phi is equal to phi Z minus. Now, this phi Z plus and phi Z minus can be written in a basis of phi X plus and phi X minus. So, they can be written as a basis of phi X plus or phi X minus. So, again, the probability of measurement of SX on either phi z plus or phi z minus is equal to half or half because now your state is not remain phi state rather it may either phi z plus or phi z minus. So, this is very conceptual question. In this question you have to go for postulates 2, 3 as well as you have to go for postulates 4. So, it is the first time that CSIR have asked the question from the postulates 4 that state just after measurement what is going to happen or you have to just measure one operator just after then you have to measure the another operator.